Good morning, good morning, everybody. Stetson with Stetson here, guys. It is Tuesday morning, and I just went out, got some yards done, but I was back by the shop, and I figured something showed up, a little goodie showed up from Toro last week, and I'm just now getting some time to unbox it, so I say let's get into it, but first, you guys can see, I did end up getting another shop area for my Stormer Duramax in, so. This has really just been my weekend toy so far. I'm not using it for the lawns. I've been using it to tow uh, the dump trailer and stuff, but you know, I just, most of the time it's been sitting and uh, I'm excited to start using it this winter because I'm gonna be doing a lot of like delivery with the dump trailer, delivering materials and stuff, rocks, dirt, whatever people need. Um, so if you guys haven't seen this video, I'll link it in the iCard. And uh, yeah, this is my 2007 Duramax with 100,000 miles. We're not here for that, guys. You guys are here for what well, you clicked on the video, what's in this box right here. So as you guys know, I do have a 30-inch uh, mower from Toro, and I've got the Kawasaki version, but they actually just came out with the electric version of the 30-inch Turfmaster, and it is, I don't even think it's released yet, but they sent it over to me. They want me to check it out, you know, use it for them. Uh, they want to, you know, report back, see how I like it, so. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna get to using it in this video. Probably save that for the next video, but I'm gonna unbox it, go through everything, uh, show you guys how it works and all that stuff, and uh, put it together. So let's quit wasting time and get this box opened up. First, let's just open this up and see what we got, man. So open up all the flaps. Okay, then you got a piece of cardboard on top, of course. And then there it is, guys. So here is the brand new 60 volt Turfmaster. I'm not sure if it's HDX. I guess I'll check on the front, but of course, right out of the box, you get the bag with it. And then you guys can see right away, there's no engine. This is not an engine. It's got a brushless motor, it looks like. Pull off that paper, and uh, yeah, you can see no engine there at all, just a place to stick batteries in. So it looks like it holds three batteries, and I got some of these for the big boy. The Flex Force 60 volt, 10 amp, 540 watt hours. That's what these are. And uh, I got three of these and they should be fully charged. Yeah, they're fully charged. So we're gonna put them in there. But first, we gotta get this thing out of the box. I'm just gonna cut these sides all the way down. That's what I usually do on these mowers. Like that, then come over to this side, do the same thing. And then look at that, it opens up like a like a little ramp. So I take out this little piece of cardboard that holds it in place. And check it out guys, we got access to the brand new Turf Master. So let's pull it out of the box. Get all the little goodies that come with it. Pull off this bubble wrap. Ugh. These things are heavy, man, but I believe this one's a little less heavy than the gas version. I just need to put it together real quick and then we can check it out. here it is all together in all its glory and i just want to kind of break it down a little bit so mower does offer about 80 minutes of runtime off of three full batteries it also has the uh heavy duty commercial construction so i'll go grab a uh, one of my gas ones and bring it out here just kind of put it side by side and you guys can see it's built with almost the exact same components so very uh, strong you can see right in the front toro revolution that's pretty bad to the bone. Uh, that's part of the, their electric brand. And you know, they've got the Toro Revolution Grandstand, which is an electric stand on mower, which is pretty, pretty neat. One of my favorite features on these Toros is because it's got the two point height adjustment. So you just have to adjust two parts and it goes, does the whole thing. So simple, you just press this little lever underneath here and it raises, lowers the deck. And then same back here, you pull this handle 
raises, lowers the deck. So that's definitely one of my favorite features on these uh, 30 inch mowers. And I'm just excited to use this thing because, well, you know, we're starting at six, seven a.m. So it's usually dark and people are sleeping, the neighbors, the customers. So it'll be nice to uh, have this for those early morning starts so we can get way ahead, way, way ahead. All right, I say let's get this bad boy powered up. So pretty simple. Like I said, we've got these Flex Force batteries that go in it, which are interchangeable with the whole Flex Force system, by the way. I could use this on a hedge trimmer, blower, weed eater, you name it, as long as it's Flex Force. Pull up this tab right here, and then you can pull up the cover, and you see there's three spots for batteries, so let's put those in there. You just push it down until it clicks. There you go. This is your engine right here. You got your motor set up. So no oil changes, no gas, no noise, no exhaust fumes, no nothing. So it's kind of nice, but close back up, clicks into place. It's going to hold it. Now, if you come back to the operator area, this is the self propel. This engages the blades. You can hear that click, but they don't have the key in it. So that's why it's not working. But you can see this has three modes low, auto, max. So auto is what you're gonna get your best battery life out of, your 80 minutes of runtime, because it's gonna adjust to the height of the grass. So it's gonna know if it needs to speed up the RPMs or if it just needs to stay at a low level. All you do is put this, there you go. And you are powered up, man. All you gotta do is pull down the lever and I press the button, turns the blades on. So I say without further ado, let's turn this on, see how it sounds. So you guys are about to witness this for the first time, just like I am. We're gonna turn the blades on and see how loud this thing is. I'm having a feeling it's gonna be pretty quiet because I have the 21 inch version of this, of the electric commercial and it's pretty dang quiet. So I say, uh, let's get to it man, always put on your PPE. So I've got my glasses on, but so we put on this lever, you hear the click and then we're gonna press the button. All right, that's not loud at all. Let's try that self-propel. Holy cow, man. That thing is fast. Wow. Yeah, that's not loud. I mean, you guys can, I'm talking normal. And I bet, I guarantee you guys can hear me 100%. And yeah, that's gonna be nice in the mornings. That's for sure. Let me turn on max. So that's max. I don't know if you can hear me, but that's uh, pretty fast. That's auto, and then let's go to low. Okay, so auto is low. It just revs up the blades when you need it. I got you. Let's see how fast it is with max. Oh my gosh, guys. Watch how fast it is. Holy cow, dude, that thing, when I put that on max, that thing was pulling me. I could probably put a little sulky on the back and get pulled by it. So I went ahead and pulled out the, the gas one. And of course this one is almost, it's about two years old, a little over two years old now. So it's obviously beat beat to heck, but uh, it's not as shiny as this one is. But I just wanna kind of show you guys some key differences. So obviously you got an engine on this one, the Kohler engine. You got batteries on this one. Um, this, this mower does weigh about like 30, 33 pounds less than the gas one. So this one's like 167. This one comes in at around 200, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but almost positive. So it is a little bit lighter, which is one of my main complaints from the gas is that it is very, very heavy. So uh, pushing this thing around all day, you got to really manhandle it. So obviously on the gas one, you've got your oil changes. You got to take care of the air, air filter. You don't have any oil to change, air filters to clean. You don't have an engine to take care of, gas to fill up. So that is very nice. So I'm just excited to uh, put this little battery one to the test. I believe I'm gonna take it with us tomorrow and on Thursday. So I'm gonna charge up a bunch of batteries. Cause like I said, you get 80 minutes off of a charge and we do a lot of push mowing with a 30 inch. So 80 minutes might not be enough time to last us the full day, of course. So I need to get like a generator to keep in the back of the truck to charge the batteries up. So guys, battery versus gas. I'm uh, going to report back to you guys in the next video, of course, and I'm just excited to, to use this thing. So I just want to give a, a big shout out to Toro for sending this out to me. Appreciate you guys. 
We've been partnering up with Toro for a couple years now and they've treated me great. Uh, no complaints at all, man. Really, really grateful for the opportunity that they give me. Just excited to put this thing to the test, man. And that will be in the coming videos, of course. But until then, guys, we're gonna go ahead and end it here. And I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope this brought some uh, little bit of knowledge to you guys because like I said, this mower is not even released yet. It's not released to the public. So I'm not sure when it's gonna release. Maybe this fall, maybe next spring. Uh, I don't know, but we are gonna be using this thing and letting you guys know if it's gonna be worth it. I'll probably do like a gas versus battery comparison in a few weeks, that'd be cool. Just like mow a yard with the electric one, mow a yard with the gas one, and then see how see how each one does. Gotta find some tall grass to mow with it. That'd be uh, that'd be pretty ideal. I think that'd be a good good plan to do. But so thank you guys for dropping by to the channel. Appreciate you guys checking it out, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you could get some knowledge on this new mower that's coming out. But I'm gonna end it here. We will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.